Did you have a Windows PC that you are locked out of because you forgot the password? Or it's associated with a Microsoft account and you don't have that password? I'm going to show you how to unlock that PC and reset the password. Stick around. There are many reasons why you may be locked out of your computer. I've seen it all. Maybe you were using a Microsoft account and you enabled a PIN and it's been so long since you've used a password that you forgot it. Maybe you purchased a computer secondhand just to get it home and find out that it was password protected from the previous owner. Or maybe you've recently had a loved one pass and you need access to that computer. Whatever your reason, your legitimate reason, I'm going to show you today a tool that I use to bypass this password and reset the account. But first, I got to keep the lights on, so check out today's sponsor. Are you using an unregistered version of Windows 11? Then you need to check out Keyspan.com. Keyspan offers a wide range of products including Windows 11, Windows 10, and even older versions like Windows 7. Need all the software? They got you covered with keys for Office 2019 and Office 2021. And here's the best part, you can save big with exclusive coupon codes by using my code RKT50 to get 50% off all Windows series. That means you can get Windows 11 Pro for less than $20. But wait, there's more. For Microsoft Office, use my code RKT62 to get a massive 62% off. Buying is super easy. Just add your chosen product key to your cart, apply the coupon code, and pay securely via PayPal or credit card. You'll receive your genuine activation key in no time. Once you have your product key, go back to the activation page, click on change product key, enter the product key you just purchased, and click activate. Be sure to check out keysfan.com. Now, I want to be upfront about the scenarios where this will work and a scenario where it very much won't work. So first, or it will work if you have a Windows 10 or 11 computer with a local account and you just simply forgot the password, it will work. If you have a Windows 10 or 11 computer that's associated with a Microsoft account and you just forgot the password or PIN, it will work. Where it won't work is if you have both a Microsoft account set up that's password protected and your hard drive is encrypted with BitLocker or another third-party encryption tool that requires an encryption key. In those scenarios, it will not work. Your only option essentially is to reinstall Windows completely and start over, or locate the encryption key. Unfortunately, you may not even know if your hard drive is encrypted with BitLocker, because newer computers equipped with TPM modules can be BitLocker enabled by Microsoft without your knowledge. That's right. Microsoft can encrypt your data and make it inaccessible to you should you lose access to your Microsoft account information. Reason number 3497 of why I don't use Microsoft accounts. So unfortunately, if you don't know whether your hard drive is encrypted or not, there is a certain step in this process where you will definitely find out because you can't go any further. And I'll point that out. Now, my particular situation that prompted this video is I have a local client who called me and said that her computer has been hacked and they locked her out of it. There was now a Microsoft account PIN number to which she does not recall setting. And she doesn't know her Microsoft password, probably set up years ago, no idea what it is. So that's where I come in. So there's a couple of tools we're going to need. Today, we're going to create a bootable USB flash drive. We're going to download a program called Hiren's Boot CD. It's not actually a CD. Could be. It's just called that. And we're going to create a bootable drive of Hiram's using Rufus. So Rufus is the second tool that we'll download. What Hiram's is, is a recovery environment with a whole lot of tools. So it's kind of a version of Windows 11 that we can boot from in a recovery environment with tools that we can use to do all sorts of things. In particular, reset a Microsoft password in this case. All right, so you will need a flash drive and you will need a computer that you're not locked out of to create that flash drive. So let's jump over here onto the interwebs and we'll start downloading our tools. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get the two tools that we're going to need today and that's Hiren's Boot CD and 
Rufus. So from the browser of your choice, I'm going to go grab Rufus first. I'm just going to type in Rufus here in the search box. And I'm going to go to right here where it says Rufus, Rufus the official website. And if you scroll down here to the latest releases, I'm going to grab the second one here. This is just my preference. I prefer the portable version. Either will work. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You can see that that's downloaded here in the top right hand corner of my screen. Now I'm going to come back over here to my search engine and type in Hiren's boot disk. And it's actually hirensbootcd.org. So it's this one here. Make sure you come to the right one. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And you're going to click on download. And you're going to scroll all the way down to here where it says latest recovery v4.7. And then it says file name. And right here on this ISO, just click that and it's going to download. It will also download in the top right hand corner of your screen here. Now I've already downloaded both of these. So to save time, I'm going to cancel this. And I have both my Hiram's ISO and my Rufus executable file here. Now you're going to want to make sure that you insert a flash drive that can be erased because this will destroy the data. Okay. If you have that flash drive inserted, go ahead and launch Rufus. It'll prompt you if you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online. You can do that or not. Once Rufus opens to this screen here, make sure that up top here is the USB drive that you selected. And then we're going to come right here to select. And we're going to select that Hiram's boot CD ISO that you just downloaded. The next part is important. You're not creating this on the computer that you're going to use this on. So you either need to know what your partition scheme is, either GPT or MBR, or if you just select Alt E, you'll see at the bottom where it says dual EFI bias mode selected. Once that's selected, Rufus is going to create a bootable drive that will work with either partition scheme. So then you will be good to go. Everything else on here, we're going to leave as default. And then I'm going to click start. You're going to get this message here. Rufus detected that the ISO you have selected contains a bootloader that has been revoked. This is an expiration thing. It's okay. We're going to go ahead and click okay. And then it's going to warn you that all data on the device will be deleted. And you're going to click OK. You should not get this message here. The USB drive that I happened to grab had multiple partitions on it. And it's just warning me of that. That should not happen to you. I'm going to click OK. And once it's ready, you can just close this out. And now we are finished with this computer and we can take out that flash drive and insert it into the computer that we're going to unlock. Okay, now that we've created our flash drive, we're going to insert that into the computer we're locked out of and either power it up or from that screen that you're locked out of, you can restart from there. Either way, we need to access the boot menu. This could be different depending on your manufacturer. Dell computers use F12, HP computers use F9. I'll put a graphic up on screen for some of the common manufacturers and the key that they use. For me in particular, this is an HP computer, so I'll be using F9 to access the boot menu. All right, so let's get that flash drive inserted and I'll meet you at that computer. Okay, so with my flash drive inserted, I'm going to come down here to this little power button to the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to restart and then I'm going to get prepared to tap the F9 key. That brings me to the boot menu, which yours may look different, but for me, this PNY USB 3.2 is my flash drive. So I've selected that. I'm going to press enter. And then it says press any key to boot from USB. So I'm going to press enter and now it's going to load the files. Once it gets here, it still takes a minute to load the recovery environment. If it seems like it's stuck, it's not. It just takes some time to set everything up. 
Okay, once everything's loaded, we're going to go to Utilities. Then we're going to go to Security. Then we're going to go to Passwords. Well, before we do that, let's go to this PC. This is the local drive C. If you can open this drive, your drive is not encrypted. If this is BitLocker encrypted, it will ask you for an encryption key when you attempt to open that. All right. So I'm going to go back to Utilities. And then we're going to go to Windows Login Unlocker. And after a minute here, it's going to load all of the logins. I'm going to go to this admin one right here. I'm going to click this drop down arrow right here. And then I'm going to come down here to Reset Password. It's asking me if I want to disable Hibernate. I'm going to say yes. And it's asking me to reset the user password. I'm going to say OK. And it says user password reset. So now I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to go ahead and restart. And when it restarts, the password should be gone. And there we have it. Now there's one other thing we should do once we're inside. You want to go to settings. I'm actually going to disconnect from the internet because I have some other things to take care of on this compromise system. Okay, we want to go to accounts. Once we're at your info, you want to go down here to stop signing into Microsoft accounts automatically. That way it reverts us to a local account. And you can always go back in and set up another Microsoft account if you need to. And that's it. And there you have it, access to your PC again. Was it helpful for you? Drop me a comment below and let me know. Do me a favor, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is free and it helps me grow the channel so I can continue to bring you videos just like this. Be sure to check out these other videos YouTube thinks you will like. And as always, thank you for watching and until next time.